Hey, in the modern day, more men are committing suicide than ever before. Along with this, masculinity has decreased while suicide rates have increased. And I don't know about you, but if you ask me, this is no coincidence. I look around and men are weaker physically and mentally due to feminized society. And I realize that feminized society is the real enemy here. It's not men versus women. Because I know a lot of you, are, a lot of you, if, if there's any women watching, y'all are already triggered like, oh my god, he's so misogynist and whatever. Shh, like, shh, like, before you even know what I'm saying, don't even start judging. This is not towards women. Feminist, feminized society does not mean that I am anti-women or that I am against women. So don't draw your conclusions. Just listen. I've been a very feminized, feminine man for most of my life. Well, for, yeah, you can say most of my life. I was confused just like you. You know, just doing what everyone told me to do. You know, it's okay to be emotional. Just be, be emotional. Like, it's okay to cry and whatever, this and that. And I was confused. I wasn't happy. I was not masculine. I had a deep desire inside of me to be that masculine man that everyone just like you wants to be. Then I discovered amazing, masculine, fulfilling, strong men of today, which include YouTubers like Hamza, Andrew Tate, David Goggins. These men, I started practicing what they praised. I practiced more masculine activities. I started working out. I put myself through physical and mental pain, through suffering, through literal int intentional suffering because the generation of today, I am one of the first generations of weak men. The generations before me still had to go through pain. And guess what? The generations before us, a hundred years ago, there was, there was not as many, as many suicide rates. Like that, how does that make sense? How come when there was little, little freaking war in the world? Yes. Like you can say, oh, they wasn't talked about as much and back then, but there was still, it doesn't change the fact that the suicide rates were not as high. How come in, in Western industrialized countries in which life is so much more comfortable for men, suicide rates are rising. Like, how does that make sense? Comfort is killing men, the men of today. And I know some of y'all feminized men and feminists are looking at this and being all confused and this, whatever, but let me explain how making men strong, because I want to make men strong again, will help our confused society of today, which is very confused. Masculinity makes men go through intentional suffering and pain through things like working out, meditating, and actually setting big goals for yourself for the future, like setting financial goals and stuff like that. This makes men go through physical and mental suffering slash pain, which is intentional. And this eventually creates better families in the future, stronger men mentally as well as physically, which create better families. They teach the kids a lot better things because what happens nowadays is that Feminized society has told us because I know because you're watching this right now ever since you were a kid You were always told oh be an emotional man being this and whatever and this is not to say because no, no 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 Let me let me finish because I know some of you are saying oh my god like being emotional is totally fine I know a lot of people are saying oh being emotional is totally fine a lot of women are saying that right now But when, men, when, when women say that so they want an emotional man they don't know what they're talking about When they say they want an emotional man they mean a man that expresses his feelings that gives her details that shows her his love through little details like that but that is not being emotional being in touch with your emotions and being emotional are two completely different things telling us to be emotional is telling us to learn and have our behavior be influenced completely by our emotions being emotional means that your your behavior is influenced very easily by your emotions when you're sad you stay you stay in bed you're you're depressed you don't you don't go work out whenever you feel horny you go watch porn and, and shit on on instagram when you're angry you start breaking shit you give in to your emotions and this is not a good thing and like i said uh, this is not to say that you should suppress your emotions this means that you should not let it influence your day if you're happy, that's great. If you're sad, then carry on with your day. Do your habits. Work out. Don't just stay in bed because that, that's what happens with these men nowadays. Being aware of your emotions, that is a good thing. 
being aware of, oh, I'm angry, but I'm not going to let that influence my behavior. I'm not going to hit this guy because he's talking shit about me. I'm not going to go watch and please myself just because I feel a little bit horny right now. That is bad. That is, that is what a harmless man does because that's what, and, and this is what people are praising nowadays. They're praising the harmless man and the harmless man is the one that does the most bad to this world. Just think about it. The harmless man, the emotional man that gives into his feelings. They're the ones that kill, they rape, they commit suicide. These are the men that they're praising nowadays. These are the men that Andrew, people like Andrew Tate, people like us, masculine men are trying to put away. They're trying to eliminate, make them into stronger men. And yet we're called, we're framed as the bad guys. Like, how does that make sense? And what kills me the most is that so many, so many women... Because I, I, this has happened to me a lot. And I don't know if it's a joke, but I know that this happens to a lot of people. Like Andrew Tate, Hamza, as well as me. That woman will come up and be like, Oh my god, he, he he's masculine, he's this and that. And that's toxic masculinity. We're framed... What we do is framed as toxic masculinity. And what kills me and what makes me feel so like... Oh my god, like this really like like brings out a, like a feeling of the spice and like agitating feeling of... Like, because these stupid women, which are like, I'm sorry for the word, if you're like, if you're just one of these women, then I'm sorry. But yes, these women that are like, oh no, I want an emotional man. They're going to get married to an emotional man in the future. And when he starts breaking shit, when he starts being a bum, and then you start realizing what a real masculine man is and how much better a masculine man would have been for you. You're going to realize that <laughs> you were just being super ignorant all along. And what kills me is that these women that frame and you say as misogynistic or other strong men like these, which are trying to improve the world and save some of these men from committing suicide, they're framed as misogynistic or toxic. When these are the men that are trying to help you in the first place, and yet you're siding with the, with the opposite side, with this feminized society, with Instagram, that's telling you to stay weak, to stay emotional. Open your eyes to this. Strong masculine men are the ones that raise good kids and eventually raise better kids and better kids and better kids and they don't do shit that raise trauma in households nowadays. Emotional men are the ones that yell and they break shit and they give in to their emotions easily and they traumatize their kids. Is this what you want for your future? Is this what you want whenever you're like... I want an emotional man. That's literally what you're raising. Because what's also so interesting and so stupid at the same time is that they're literally, these women literally contradict themselves by being like, oh, I want an emotional man. But yet these are, these emotional men are the ones that you reject on Instagram in the first place. Why? Because these emotional men are the ones that give you the least value because they're not strong. They don't make good money because they're just bums sitting on their ass playing video games. These are the ones that you, you reject. You know that you want a strong masculine man. That could that makes good money because that's a good thing. That's a good asset. That gives protection for your family for the future. I'm praising this. I'm praising a strong masculine man. Andrew Tate, Hamza, David Goggins. These people praise this, and yet we are framed as the bad guys, as toxic masculine men. And what's so stupid is that working out and being confident and being a little bit into yourself is what is framed as toxic masculinity nowadays. Like. That is the stupidest thing ever because then, but like the, the, but then the men that are actually on the side of these feminized women, of these femi feminist women, the ones that are actually emotional, these are the ones that they reject. This makes absolutely no sense. These men like us, like me, which are trying to share this message out to the world, improve our society, were canceled on Instagram, YouTube. When we're trying to share our message to help these young men to improve their mental health so that way they can give a better life to their wife, to their future wife, their future children. And, and we're just canceled like this? These real strong men, the ones that are actually helping men become stronger and, and make our world a better place, they're framed as the bad guys. And then here come the NPCs just following what feminized society told them to do, what the system is telling them to do. These NPCs come and call them bad guys. They call them misogynistic. Words like misogynistic, asshole, racist. Just because that's what they saw on a three second clip in which they put a fake caption over this masculine man. 
and he's framed as a bad guy. So they're just going to follow whatever the crowd says because they're little NPCs. This is literally why people nowadays are literally asked, why do you hate Andrew Tate? They don't even know what, what, the, what the hell, why do they even hate them? They're asked why they hate him and they're like, he's misogynistic. Like, what is that? Define misogyny for me. You don't know. You're, you're literally like, imagine being so programmed by the system that you have strong emotions over an influencer, a man, and you don't even know why. <laughs> like, literally think about that. If you are an agitate, not supporter, if you do not like him, tell me, give me a good reason why. And don't be like, oh, he's misogynistic. He says this. He says that. Give me a valid reason. And the sad thing is that these people, they're siding with the enemy. They're literally killing themselves, their future selves, by help, by encouraging these men to become more emotional, weaker, more bumps. They make a whole society one slower. They don't, they don't, there's not good for the economy. It's just, it just makes everything worse. It just, it just rises worser fathers, worser families, and worser and worser lives for the rest of us, for the rest future generations that come after us. And I want to offer you that. I want to offer you to open your eyes, become more aware of this. Like, actually think for yourself. Don't just follow whatever the media told you. Because beca practice becoming a more masculine man if you're a man. Practice these masculine tr masculine activities. Put yourself through discomfort, through pain. Work out. This will build strong mental as well as a strong body. A strong mind and as well as a strong body. And even if, if you have nothing to do with fitness, this is going to help you overall in the future of your life. Like I said, stronger men bring better lives for the rest of us, for everyone. They just make the world a better place. And it's so beautiful feeling that sense of masculinity. Just visualize yourself being that masculine man you always want to be. Loving yourself, looking into the mirror and seeing your hard work. And being that masculine, strong man, that handsome man, improving your looks, your confidence, talking to more women, being more social around people, and being overall more fulfilled and happier. Imagine that. You can change this. You can become this man. And put an end to these emotional, emotional encouraged men of today. Make men strong again. Share this message out. Because being masculine does not mean breaking shit. And giving into your emotions, being a, being some, being a man that's just angry all the time. That is not what masculine is. That is not what masculinity is. This is what feminized society sees it as nowadays, but this is not what masculinity is. Breaking shit and giving, giving into your emotions, that is what an emotional man does. Open your eyes to this. So it's your choice. You can stay silent, follow the crowd like you've been doing. And be that emotional man, unfulfilled, unhappy of how you look, of how you act, of how shy you are around social situations or you can put an end to it into this open your eyes become that masculine man put yourself through through intentional pain and suffering by working out practicing good masculine habits and becoming that man you've always wanted to be and remember do it for your future self